Okay, welcome back. We are uh, going to find another check digit for a UPC number again. This one happens to be, I believe, from a pack of paper that I happen to have in the room. I zoomed in on it made it larger. For the UPC numbers, remember, we're going to be multiplying each even position digit starting from the right by 3. This is the check digit right here. Make sure you include the 0 and all the other numbers in the code. So we'll multiply by 3 for each of these position digits, even positions. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's even position, so by all these. Skip the ones in between. There we go. And then let's get those products. And one this three right here. And we're going to leave out the check digit for right now, just so you can see how this works. Go ahead and use your calculator to add those up, and I'll do the same thing. And I got 74 as a sum, so the sum... Is 74. Remember that with the UPC numbers, you're looking for a number at the end when you add the check digit in, or to find it, it has to end up being a multiple of 10. So for this one here, we're going to say we have to add something to make this equal to the next highest multiple of 10, which would be 80. In the sense, we go 70, 80, 90, 100, and so on by 10s. In this case, I have to add a 6 to make that equal 80. And we can see that that verifies it as an actual UPC number because the 6 is right here. So in this case, the check digit should be a 6, and it is.